when I became a full-time artist and obviously had much more freedom with what I could draw, that's really what led to the point where I was just heading out into the city, drawing at the easel and felt like I'd really found my passion and found what I was put here for. Obviously, when the pandemic came in and I lost that freedom to travel, I couldn't then go out at the easel, I couldn't draw on it. It was hard to handle. So I began to draw in my sketchbooks and this was actually a really liberating experience. These drawings in this book are all from that kind of, all from that place of really thinking and reflecting. And I think for that reason, it feels very, very personal and very meaningful. To help lead us through the struggle and the experiences that people are going through, I thought it'd be best to follow one person's story or rather a person and their dog. So the characters in the book are based on real people. My granddad was a, was a big friendly giant. He was six foot seven, slow moving and never raised his voice. And he had a, a wisdom. When thinking about the chaos over the last year, he felt like the perfect champion to kind of lead us through this narrative of chaos, of loneliness and of struggle, but also of hope and kindness and things that maybe we took for granted. Also, from a personal level, I wanted to remember him. I wanted to use this opportunity to draw him. And really, throughout the whole process, it's been quite healing and I've got to know him again. And then someone who is very much alive. <laughs> His companion throughout the whole book is my dog, Robin. And she is... <laughs> I don't know how to describe Robin. Where to begin? Robin is just a bundle of energy and comical and always making me laugh and lifting my spirits. And I think there's something that fascinated me about bringing two characters together. I often wonder what it would be like for them to meet in, in real life. And my granddad always had a dog and I can't really picture him without one. So I think for all of these reasons... They made the perfect pairing to kind of lead us through. And it's really, the book is anchored on their relationship. Some people have only had the company of them and their pets and them and their dogs with them. And just to think of how this, this situation would have been without them. I'm not living alone. I live with my girlfriend and that's been amazing to have that company. But to have a dog to both laugh at to help us through times to just get get us get us walking and i think so many people have relied on their animals throughout this whole pandemic and i think that's why this relationship between my late granddad and my dog was so relevant and something i wanted to really get across in the book my granddad was always he always carried an umbrella and one of the things that i remember from losing my granddad was being absolutely obsessed with the umbrella that he left behind and it sounds really strange but I would take it with me everywhere and I would when I did a sports event when I was a kid and I'd stick it in the ground thinking that it'd be giving me good luck and the sun would be shining and I would be turning up to an event with an umbrella that's what kind of this book's full of so much meaning and depth and detail and it's obvious obviously not everyone will connect with that and see that but for me it's really important that it's in there because yeah it feels special the image i'm drawing here is actually probably the most meaningful or at least i guess it summarizes the message of the book this idea of empathy the idea of sacrifice and also I guess love, this love that we can have for one another. At just a moment, there's a change, there's a realisation in this scene that I think a lot of people have gone through and I think a lot of people can relate to this sacrifice for somebody that you love. I hope that's the message people take away from the book.